It's difficult to imagine Miami Beach washed over in a 10 foot storm surge, but it happened nearly a century ago during the great Miami hurricane of 1926. And not only could it happen again, next time it could be even worse than before. The Gulf Stream. The world's fastest ocean current, with some of the warmest, deepest waters on this side of the Atlantic, lurking just miles off our shores, is changing, but not for the better. So we believe that that's weakened by about 4% over the last um, 40 years. New research from the world's foremost ocean experts, including Dr. Lisa Beal, professor of oceanography at University of Miami's Rosenstiel School, find waters in the lower reaches of the Gulf Stream near South Florida, known as the Florida Current, are slowing and at an alarming rate. We understand that at a very fundamental level that the ocean, the flow in the ocean, just like winds in the atmosphere, is occurring because of pressure differences. It basically means that if the water is flowing, the sea level is not flat. It has a slope across it. And it just so happens that, you know, this huge amount of water that's passing by our doorstep here in Miami is associated with a sea level slope that's lower, where the sea surface is lower near Miami and higher near the Bahamas. But as the Gulf Stream current slows, the sea level seesaw rises higher in Miami, into our streets, neighborhoods, homes, and businesses on sunny days, and setting the stage for bigger storm surges with the next hurricane. It's been almost a century since the last catastrophic storm surge swept across Miami Beach and into downtown Miami. A 10-foot torrent of salt water turned Miami Beach into what journalist Marjorie Stoneman Douglas called a sea of raving white water. But 1926 Miami, even at the height of Florida's first land boom, was a rural settlement compared to today's densely built beachfront, bayshore, and intracoastal. And seas today are starting at over a foot higher than in 1926, largely from a warming Atlantic, and expected to accelerate another foot or more by mid-century, hastened by the slowdown of the world's fastest ocean current. It doesn't seem like much. It's about 4% or one spare drop, which is one million meters cubed per second um, of water passing by Miami. This one-two punch of higher ocean heat, fueling stronger hurricanes and seas reaching new heights, puts South Florida and its booming coastline on the brink of its next hurricane disaster. Mm -hmm.